My name is Dr. Sebastian Kim, Assistant Provost for the Korean Studies Center and Professor of Theology and Public Life. I'm going to look at the letter of Jude uh, from the Korean Christianity perspective. Jude is one of the shortest books in the Bible. It has 25 verses, and it is uh, very uh, little known about the author and also background. Probably it was written between 50 and 70 AD to a particular community. So when we look at the contents, um, it has uh, greetings and also purpose of the letter. And then quickly moving to the uh, severe warning for those who come from outside uh, to distract and to destroy the Christian community for their false teaching and also for their misconduct. And then moving to the uh, encouragement, encouragement for the uh, Christians to hold fast their faith. And then finally, it has a doxology in the, uh, toward the end of the letter. Jude start in verse four and five and continues in the uh, first half of the letter, talks about uh, some people, individuals, uh, came from outside and they brought a false teaching and they deliberately came to the Christian community to distract and to provide uh, these false doctrines. And also they were very much uh, uh, practicing uh, the unholy uh, life conducts. So there was the uh, uh, warning there. And then uh, Jude provides uh, kind of three examples of how God dwelt in the Old Testament. First example was the people of Israel when God brought them out of Egypt uh, from the bondage. Uh, God delivered them from the uh, hardness and their slavery. But some people didn't believe that and some people also uh, went away from that uh, uh, protection and uh, God's provision. So God had to punish them. The second example was the story of angels who disobeyed God. And Jude uh, talks about the angel who disobeyed God and uh, who uh, fall short of their positions and deliberately uh, came from away from God. And God had to punish them and uh, Jude talks about God put them in the darkness. Here Jude uh, talks about eternal chain or the uh, deepest darkness and also judgment of the great day. Thirdly, uh, Jude talks about the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, here he talks about the sexual immorality and also their violence. So Jude provide examples and uh, provide uh, a, a severe warning uh, for those who deliberately uh, try to destroy the uh, Christian community and try to provide uh, false teachings. And Jude talks about woe to them and uh, and giving very uh, severe warning to uh, these people and also their misconduct. And then verse uh, 17 onwards, uh, the author uh, talks about the encouragement, the kind of call to step fast, call to hold on their faith. Here, Jews talk about uh, several points, which is quite uh, relevant for us and important for our faith. First, um, Jews talks about um, building ourselves up in living faith or holy faith 
Uh, that's a quite important phrase, the holy faith. And secondly, Jude also talks about praying in the Holy Spirit. And thirdly, uh, Jude talks about keeping ourselves in God's love. And then fourthly, waiting for the mercy of God. And finally, uh, being merciful to those who are struggling and providing and supporting those people. So those are the quite uh, uh, important lessons uh, for us to, to learn uh, from Jude. So in summary, um, Jude uh, provides us a severe warning uh, for those misconduct and people deliberately uh, destroying, trying to destroy the Christian community. And then also provide a source of encouragement and how we conduct ourselves in order to keep our faith in Christ. So that's very encouraging. Uh, but also the Jews message is that um, the faith commitment and our practice is not separate thing. And he's talking about uh, a holy faith and also talking about uh, a kind of living conduct, waiting for the mercy of God and also show uh, mercy to others. So he's talking about the integration of the faith dimensions and also our practice and ethical dimensions. So what we do, uh, for example, reading the Bible, uh, praying, and also deep into the uh, kind of deeper meaning of the uh, scriptures are not separate from the, our ethical conduct of the, uh, with the other people around us and also our uh, holy living. These are all related and all integrated. So in conclusion, I would like to read uh, this doxology uh, in the end of the letter in Korean and in English. 능히 너희를 보호하사 거침이 없게 하시고 너희로 그 영광 앞에 흠이 없이 기쁨으로 서게 하실 이곧 우리 주 구주 홀로 하나님이신 하나님께 우리 주 예수 그리스도로 말미암아 영광과 위엄과 권력과 권세가 영원전부터 이제와 영원토록 있을지어다. 아멘. Now to him who is able to keep you from falling and to make you stand without blemish in the presence of his glory with rejoicing. To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority before all time and now and forever. Amen. <laughs>